dear god, this is a tough one. I just, I am of course talking about the Sonic OVA. It's just like they just looked at the actors and said, Hey, you ready to record your lines? Uh, well, yes, but um, I've got kind of a stuffy nose. Um, is it alright if I just I'll take the day off? No, 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 no. It's perfect. That that no that sound can never possibly annoy the audience that we're trying to entertain. That's the perfect voice for Tails. All right, if you it's it's. <coughs> Classic, at least among Sonic fans, in the history of Sonic the Hedgehog lore, this stands as a testament of what you should do and what should not do if you were to make a Sonic movie. The plot line is pretty basic, and there's not re there's no really need for a pretty complicated storyline. It is what it is. And the animation is incredibly well done. This originally was two episodes of a intended TV show spliced together to make this film. And everything else is pretty standard. From decent and sometimes really good animation to, you know, a fun storyline with some really kick-ass action between Sonic and Metal Sonic. Sadly, you gotta listen to this the whole time. Sonic! I finally finished it! See, isn't it great? Little Sarah, uh, Sonic, please listen to whatever Robotnik has to say. Oh, all right. Oh, good job! Huh? My hand's on fire! Help! Yeah. But that also adds some charm to it because of, it, because of its over-the-top nature and insanity of the voice acting. It is just that much more memorable. It's bad but it's so memorably and enjoyably bad. Particularly this line. You might know everything I'm going to do, but that's not going to help you since I know everything you're going to do. Strange, isn't it? That just sums up the movie right there. If you got an hour to kill and you want to cringe, cry, laugh, and enjoy some fun action, check out the Sonic OVA. My honest rating, 6 out of 10. Nothing more, nothing less. It's meh, but it's memorably meh. Tons of memorable moments, it's including certain bits where you're thinking that they're going above the kid level of humor, the supposed middle finger scene, and Tails copying a feel. Okay, yep, that actually happened. That wasn't a mistake. Oh, how dare you. It's always fun to go back and watch with friends or, you know, just on your own if you just feel like, you know, killing an hour and just watching a goofy Sonic the Hedgehog movie. That could have been substantially better and probably would have made a better TV series like it was originally was. But, as is, the Sonic OVA is a fun, cringe-worthy, fun time to be had. This has been a way fast review, and we'll see you next time on Team Epic Force. On to the next review. I am a little worried and frightened because of the person who is forcing me to do this. It's a movie I do not want to watch. There's worse out there, but I don't want to watch it. And he's kind of angry at me for destroying the Yogi Bear DVD. Because apparently Yogi Bear is his cousin. I hate you. Why did we invent you as a character? Okay. Next time on Wayfest.
Mr. Beavers. The country bears. God help me. Y'all ready for this?